You want to know we got a lot of in the NBA right now? We have a lot of guys named Jalen. And for fantasy basketball, this is an absolute gold mine. In this episode, I'm going to break down the top five Jalens for fantasy basketball. We believe every NBA fan that plays fantasy football should also play fantasy basketball. Let's jump right in with the get down. The first player I want to talk about is Jalen Brunson. Yes, he just reunited the Villanova boys. Ah, And he got his whole team from college there. He got Mikael Bridges, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo. I get all of that. But last season, Jalen Brunson finished in points leagues at number 18. So he was a top 20 player, averaged 28.7 points per game, 6.7 assists per game. Now I know what people are saying. With the arrival of Mikael Bridges, there will be a regression for Jalen Brunson in terms of his points per game. You could say that, but even if there was a slight decrease in how many points he scores, just know that he will be distributing the basketball at a high clip. And if you are playing in fantasy basketball leagues, specifically points leagues, you know that assists are typically weighted heavier and higher than points. So if he loses a couple of points per game, if he ends up 26.7 but gets that 6.7 up to a 7.5, just know it'll all balance out. Jalen Brunson is someone you want to target in your drafts. The second Jalen I want to talk about is a Jalen that I'm not as high on, but you can't deny his fantasy basketball value. I'm talking about from the Boston Celtics, Jalen Brown. Last season, Jalen Brown finished 47th in points leagues, averaging 23 points a game, five rebounds per game, 3.6 assists, and check this out, 1.2 steals per game. Let that sink in. Tons of value with Jalen Brown. Again, not somebody I'm really high on in most settings, but at the right price, I'm definitely open to bringing him to my fantasy squad. And I'm thinking about just drafting all of the Jalens just because it is so novel and unique. The next Jalen we're going to talk about is probably the most surprising one. Somebody who came out of the blue last season and provided tons of fantasy value for people who picked him up late in drafts or even picked him up off of the waiver wire. He finished at 55 in points leagues last year. I'm talking about Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson is one of my favorite players to draft this season. Last season, he averaged 16 points a game, 8.7 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 1 point two steals per game with the departure of DeJounte Murray there's going to be tons of opportunity for him to eat with his big boy fork and knife look out for Jalen Johnson because he might be an absolute steal if you can grab him at the right place but just be careful because people are reaching for him right now in mock drafts the fourth Jalen I want to talk about is Jalen Williams from the OKC Thunder. He's one of my favorite players, and yes, he is not ranked as high as these other guys, but he might outperform some of them, especially the Jalen Browns and the Jalen Johnsons of the world. With that said, last season he averaged 19 points a game, four rebounds, and 4.5 assists, and he also chipped in, check this out, 1.1 steals per game cooking with hot grease when I tell you, listen, Jalen Williams is on a winning team. There's a chance that this young man could be an all-star maybe this year or definitely in the near future and also could probably be an all-NBA player. He is an elite talent, doesn't turn the ball over, knows how to distribute the rock. Look out for Jalen Williams in your drafts. The fifth and final Jalen we're going to talk about is one of my favorites, Jalen Duran. He finished in points leagues at 69 last year, averaged 13.8 points per game, 11.6 rebounds per game. He is a double double machine. For me, I love the idea of getting him in those middle rounds and just seeing the kind of value that he can provide. So if you pick a Jalen and you get an opportunity to grab one, grab yourself some Jalen Duran. Now that you know who the top five Jalens are that you need to draft for fantasy, check out this episode so you can see the top 10 rising stars for fantasy basketball. And yes, there's also a train behind me.